Yeah, that's it, huh? Did we complete this? Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Good lord. I've lost the home row. No, it's not complete. What the fuck is going on here? Why is this place so bizarre? What have I missed? Let's see. Maybe this isn't something that you can complete just yet. Let's see. Bring up our local map here. Alright. Huh. Well, this is so unhelpful, it doesn't even show this door. <laughs> what is even the point of this map? Come on! <laughs>...when we had last left the last Dragonborn. They had finished up a lot of strange miscellaneous tasks all around the world, yes, including returning back to Embershard Mine, where they had to do a little bit of bandit slaying for the folks of none other than Falkreath. And then they made their way back to return the Rufal Axe just as well, and rather than killing Barbus the Talking Dog as Clavicus Vile desired, they decided to just not do that and got the mask of Clavicus Vile. What a strange way things worked out. And following those fun adventures with the Daedric Prince of Deals and Bargains, the last Dragonborn made their way back up to the far reaches of Northern Skyrim to the College of Winterhold and Winterhold itself, where they finally met with Enthyr and Carlia and returned, yes, Calselmo's cool former translation rubbings, where it was finally revealed some of the secret information held within Gallus' journal. The journal revealed secrets about the Nightingales and some of the fate of the Thieves' Guild. Carlia had a plan in mind, and it was time for the Dragonborn to head over back to the Ragged Flagon and meet with her there. However, that would be some time yet, for the Dragonborn had other business nearby. Yes, in the city and the surrounding area of Windhelm. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Zoop. Oh, look. This shirtless man is... Mining is hard work, but we pay a fair price for any ore you dig up. Here's a question. Would you call this a shirtless man? I would. I would call this a shirtless man. Although he has straps and stuff, right? Soon. You'll see. I would call him a shirtless man. It's like, um, legends. if you saw a shirtless man in real life and all he was wearing was like a backpack or something, I would still say, hey, that shirtless man is a shirtless man wearing a backpack, right? <laughs> Good God. All right, let's get over to our wizard vengeance zone, right? We must take our sweet, sweet vengeance. By the way... Oh, dear God! Oh, gentle viewer! Ah, J. Maddie wrote in with some advice and input on the prior Mabel situation. And, quite simply, it's because of how we left Markarth, remember? As we were leaving Markarth in our big flurry of action, trying to escape the guards that were chasing us, Guess what? We mounted the wrong, incorrect horse, which is why Prior Mabel has not followed us around the land of Skyrim land. That's, um, quite simply it. So, at some point, we need to get back to Markarth, and certainly we are going back to Markarth at some point or another, but we need to get back there to Mount Prior Mabel. <laughs> hey, the cave. Wonder what's inside. I don't know, Ilya, and I don't think I want to know right now. Good lord, I thought I heard a dragon's wings flapping. Gosh. Oh, and also, let me see here. I wrote down some names. Thanks to gentle viewers, Lucas, Renee, and Aaron, who all wrote in, and of course the folks who gave them likes, for picking up the newest free and cool Creation Club content, right? 100% off, Jesus, which includes the Saturalia, uh, fun festivities, which we should probably try to do within December, if not January at the very least, right? We should probably try to do this, because it's meant to be very, um, very Christmassy or just wintry solstice-y holiday, right? Several holidays in the winter solstice period, right? So I think we should probably try to get 
in on some of this. Maybe not right now, but after we complete a next big step in one of our bigger quest arcs, right? We'll get right on that. And also, we picked up, um, yeah, this. The final, I believe, of the alternative armors, the steel. I think I've got the full set now. Holy shit. So we should do that and read all their books as well in the appropriate order once we've got them all. Good lord. What even were those books? They were like something of the red daggers, the cloaked daggers, the blood, the crimson daggers, some sort of... Oh, shit. Oh, it's my ink. Mike, what are you, what are you doing out here? What what are you afraid? Mike! Someone falling down the well? <laughs> Mike, what's over there? Mike is hiding! What happened? Is it the wizards, Mike? Are the wizards being mean? Don't worry, Mike, I'll take care of them. Was it that dragon that I thought I heard flapping around? Is it actually real? Could it be a real oh shit. There's a real dude over here. Whoo! Trying to blast me. Get him, Dre. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, look. I'm fucking invincible. Oh, an arch necromantic dude. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, I'm so low. Okay. Let us consume ultimate healing, of course. Oh, shit. Finish him! Oh shit, they healed up. That's fine. God, trying to avoid the iciness, because that ain't great for us right now. Alright, do a quick woot loot. Take some of this shit. An orcish dagger. Is that really worth it? <laughs> Fuck it, of course it is. I have unlimited carry weight, baby! Let's see. Grab a skeleton. Boom. Wow, it looked like I killed him with my shield bash. Not the case. If only. Good lord, I really hope there's some kind of weird enchanted... If it's not even like a, a, a basic perk in Elder Scrolls 6, I want to be able to do like a Captain America like shield uh, pinball attack, right? Where ricochets off of dudes. I want that so bad. <laughs> Have it be like a unique enchanted shield or something. I want that shit. There's so many cool things you can do with shields. All right, let's see. Let us... You know what? Let's just blow this dude down. Boom! Wow, he absorbed my strength. Alright. Let's see. Let's munch and crunch on some of this cooked beef. There we are. Yeah, it's pretty good though, isn't it? Arch Conjurer. Look, they've all became, become arch whatevers. Or perhaps they were that the last time we ran by here. The last time. <laughs> it didn't go quite so well, did it? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get over here. Gosh, everything is turning blue. Wow, it's actually warm over here. What? What is over here that's producing warmth for me? Jeez, yo, what is this? Is it their wizard's power? Is it so bright right now that I'm actually warm in this frigid region? Is it? Did I cross some sort of zone threshold? No, it's just warm here now. Oh, yo, I love it. Oh, my gosh. I need to be able to uh, change the weather somehow. If only there were a way I could change the weather. Get rid of all these blizzards. If only such a thing existed. Good Lord. <laughs> there. If only such a thing existed. I sure hope something like that does exist. Ooh, that would be great! <laughs> Let's not repeat the mistakes that we made with the <laughs> our being flippant about that, that house in Markarth. <laughs> Let's try to be a lot more on the nose, huh? Let's try and be good on that. If only that existed! <laughs> Alright, Fort Kostov Prison. Jeez, let head on in. There we are. Oh, shit. Oh, the Bone Men. Okay. Let's get some alteration juice. Let's get Dre out. Boom. Get him. And you know what? Let's also get some lightning bolts here at the ready, right? We're still trying to level up our lightning zone. All right. Good. Oh. That'll do it. Okay. Let's see. Let's turn this on as well. Get some of our own light. Look at this. 
Jeez, you could just like hide out inside of that. Okay. What else do we have around here? So this is where like wizards and stuff have come to chill out and all that shit. What an odd and peculiar place. Everybody's just, you know what? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Holy shit. Make use of all these fucked up and abandoned Imperial outposts and shit, right? Why not? Honestly? Sure, you're like vicious and terrible assholes inside of the place, but you know what? It ain't all bad. Wow, look at this. These are actually loaded up. What happens if I foos them? Do I have my shit active? Yeah, I do. Oost! <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> all right. Sure. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. Bunches of apples. Should we take them all? I think we should. Can I can I move this? There we go. Pour them out. That way I don't accidentally take that stuff. I don't think we need many more potatoes, right? We already went on a potato spree. What do we got over here? <laughs> Whoa! A bunch of hands! What the fuck? <laughs> Why would all the necromancers have this? Are they trying to create some sort of hand monster? How many hands are these? Two, four, six, eight. At the very least, maybe eight or four people. And look, here are maybe their heads? Yeah, three heads. What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on with these people? Y'all are weird. Oh. oh. Sorry, Ilya. Let's see. Any other lootable lootables? Oh, look, the old cobwebbed over poop bucket. Goodness. These necromancers haven't had a nice poop in years. Goodness. I know how that can be. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I haven't pooped in 20 days. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Let's see. What's over here? Green apples. I'll take it. Where does this pop me out at? Was there actually a roof access? Oh, whoa! Yo, hey, cool! And um, look, they put their tortured prisoners or whatever inside of these to sort of... I don't know. What is this? This seems... This was really a, <laughs> a fucking Imperial place? And they did this? This seems extra cruel. Man, the Empire is pretty fucked up, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Go on down here. Or at least they were at some point. And perhaps... They still are in some ways. <laughs> Let's turn this on. Good, good, good. Got all these iron weapons. No value to me. What's inside of here? Look at this. Are we... Is this like a spider lord zone? Good God. How are there so many spidered poop buckets? Oh, look. Oh, shit. No, it's just skeletal <laughs> dudes. Good God. I thought I was so fucking cool, but way back when I got that upgrade that let me use uh, my shield to block incoming missile attacks completely. As it turns out, fucking garbo, huh? Boom! Oh shit. Jesus Christ, that's grim. All right. Let's see, let's take some of these. Filter of the healer, oh gosh. Look at all this, this is all good stuff, huh? Look, a freezing whirlwind that does 40 points of frost damage per second to health and stamina. Wow, that sounds amazing, except for the fact that my fucking ax is doing like, what, 300 now? 300 something? Shit. Let's see, get a prison key. Anything else around here? Some potatoes. I guess I'll just eat them plain. Why not? Do a little bit of healing, just as well. Look at all this. Some bleeding crown, bone meal, bone meal, garlic, tomates, a head, frost miriam, ultimate magic of potion. What's inside of this? A sack of salt. Sack of tomatoes. Actually, I think I do need tomatoes, don't I? Let me take a quick look here. Let's see, how many- yeah, I've, I'm fucking low on tomates. Drink some wine as well, just for good measure. Alright. Pop the lights on here. Did we search this skeletal dude? Yeah, we did. Alright. And hey, this is the prison area, right? Yeah. Is there anyone even in here? 
I guess they turned them all into skeletal dudes, huh? All right. Weird. Okay, I'll take some tomatoes. Eat some apples, why not? More apples? Jeez, they're loaded with food, huh? Okay. More carrots. I think I might need carrots. Let's see. Nah, we're pretty good on carrots, aren't we? Okay, we're pretty good on that. Potatoes. I'll take three. Why not? I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling a little frisky. Might take a few potatoes. Woo! <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> Sack of flour. I'll eat that. Let's see. More flour. Sacks of sacks of flour. All right, red apples. Jeez, I'm not even hungry anymore. I shouldn't never ate that beef earlier, huh? What the heck? Tomatoes, salt. I need to find like a cooking range or something, right? More salt, cook up some veg soup. I think we're good for it now. Is there actually anything of value inside these little areas? Let's see. How come this dungeon seems so tall, right? I don't know. Ugh, dog meat? Is this where they slept on this bench that's like fallen into the ground? It's sunk right into the rock stone, the mason work. <laughs> that's the work of their necromantic power. Okay, all these. Was there even anything inside of the master locked one? I don't think so. Huh. Gosh, you know what? They did keep them fed with disgusting dog meat, but hey, you know what? We've seen worse. Probably, <laughs> ironically, they maybe treated their prisoners better than the Imperials that occupied this area, right? Or maybe the the Nords? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Imperial shit, right? It seems so reminiscent of the ones that we saw in Cyrodiil, right? And it is just named Fort whatever the fuck. Okay. Let's see. Have we investigated everything? Yo, I think maybe we have. Oh, weird. You know what? I was expecting it to be a lot bigger than this. Honestly. There is that upper area. We can check that out. I thought maybe they would link together, but perhaps not. Perhaps this goes into the dungeon prime. There we go. That said, you know what? Maybe... Maybe they're about equal. Because, you know, although these necromancers aren't torturing people and putting them out on these things as they're, like, starving and dying out here and screaming, begging for help, although they didn't do that, they did do necromantic rituals on them and turn them into permanent skeletal dudes, right? That's... <laughs> That's pretty bad as well. I don't know where on the pain meter these things add up and check out at, but they both seem pretty bad. <laughs> All right, Fort Kastov, Captain's Quarters. Oh my gosh. There we are. Neat. Ooh, some moss. Just rip that down from the ceiling, jump right up, <laughs> grab that. It's so fucking bizarre. <laughs> All right. Let's see, tomatoes, fine. Potatoes, fine. Good lord, there is so much food here. Alright. Do these fucking, like... <laughs> are these necromancers farmers? Are they, like, robbing a farm or something? What's going on? <laughs> Did they, like, hold up a grocery store and instead of, like, taking money out of the register, they just took all of their produce? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, look. Scroll of Conjure Frost Atronach. Ugh. There we go. Mora Tapinella. Like, I would understand if it were more along the lines of this, right? More alchemical reagents. But for the most part, it's just a lot of food. Maybe these necromancers are just hungry. Some hungry-ass necromancers. All right. Oh, look, this also goes to an upper level. Oh, goodness. Okay. What's over here? A little eating bowl. Just eat over here in the corner and watch the spiders do their thing. Just a big nest of, of spiders spinning webs. That's some entertainment, huh? All right. The old ways. I don't know if we've ever read this. No, you know what? I think we did, but I'm going to take it just in case. The Firmament, definitely have read that. 
candlestick. I'll take it and sell it. Okay. Down here? Dude, this is such a bizarre area. Okay. Look. A little storage area. Good God. So much spider shit going on, huh? Treasure chest. 58 G's. Tomatoes. Alright. Good. Sacks of flour. Is it just like because they're necromancers, so they must like spiders? It's creepy. It's some sort of like Halloween decoration stuff. Is that the idea? Okay. You know what, Ilya? Let's check this emergency hatch. Where does it lead to? Ooh. Okay, we're on top of the tippy top. Is there anything of- Whoa! There is something weird up here. <gasps> More hands! Oh shit, fire salts! This is the last one we need, isn't it? Oh my god, Balaman, you're gonna be so happy. Holy wackadoo. Conjure familiar. Nightshade. A pine thrush egg. And... Two golden pieces. Sprinkled with a little bit of blood. Just in case. Weird. This steel dagger was not used for the cutting. It was part of the ritual because look, they sprayed blood onto it too. Necromancers, you are so weird. Why did you put these hands here? Did you want to have just like a little head resting on top of like 10 hands? You know what? That is kind of creepy. That seems like a minor Dark Souls monster. <laughs> Good Lord. Just like enter a room and there's like 10 of them crawling around. Good God. All right. Yeah, that's it, huh? Did we complete this? Oh, whoops button. Good lord. I've lost the home row. No, it's not complete. What the fuck is going on here? Why is this place so bizarre? What have I missed? Let's see. Maybe this isn't something that you can complete just yet. Let's see. Bring up our local map here. All right. Huh. Well, this is so unhelpful. It doesn't even show this door. What is even the point of this map? Come on. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Fine. How am I supposed to find the cool treasures in this place, huh? Come on, dude. <laughs> What's going on? And in here, is this going to be of any help inside the prison? Is there actually anything good here? Let's see. There's that door, right? And that leads to the upper area. Over there, that's the prison holding area. Okay, see, this is actually useful, huh? Because it doesn't have a lot of verticality. All right, fine. You know what? We'll just never have to... We'll never know. We'll just never fucking know. Okay, cool. Well, let's go on over this direction. And then, you know what? We need to also hit up. Gosh, doesn't that mean that the necromantic dudes will just respawn because we haven't marked it as cleared? We haven't officially cleared it out? So now every time we go past, past this place, there's going to be some sick bastards who appear. Yo, what the fuck? Maybe it is related to some sort of, uh, like, Daedra quest or miscellaneous quest out in the middle of nowhere, right? Come find some random village out in the woods. And there's a whole bunch of people saying like, Oh, they, traveler, adventurer, oh, we're so glad you got here. I'm, I'm Mayor, M Mayor McHands. That's right. I'm Mayor McHands. I'm the only man in this village who has hands because you won't believe it. But last night in the dead of night and during the witching hours, yes, a whole fleet of necromancers flew in on their terrible necromantic broomsticks. And in the dead of night, they chopped off all of our hands. All of us have no hands except for me. They took them all for some sort of dark ritual. <laughs> Please go to Fort Kostov and retrieve Ten hands. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll give you 25 gold per hand. <laughs> there we go. Take care of you. Look at this. Oh my god. I'm so good at killing things now. Look at me go. Oh, jeez. I love it. Okay. Let's continue on over here. Let's see. How far away is this other objective that we have? Oh, jeez. All right. You know what? Here, let's 
turn on the world map. Yeah, it's not too far. Once we hit up the, the stables, we should just grab a horse and run on over there, right? Oh, shit. Yo, can I mount you? Come on, dude. Oh, you're the coolest, though. Look at this dude. Is this from the Saturnella shit? Look at this rad-ass motherfucker. I don't remember ones with this big of a horn situation. <laughs> Good God, it's surprisingly friendly as well. Isn't like, aren't finding wild mooses in the in the wilderness, isn't that kind of a danger? I believe I've heard Canadians say that um, finding meese or mooses is actually a pretty terrifying affair because they're very territorial and they'll like use their great and powerful antlers or whatever those are to just like ruin your day in a major way. I think that is the case. Let's see, let's steal their souls here. Good. Hey, look, I finally got an alteration level, huh? And let's also get some lightning laser, huh? Eat shit, crabs! Boom! Boom! There we go. Alright. Cool! I love it. Alright. There we are. We'll take their chitin. Very useful. Some barnacles over here as well. Wow, this crab was getting married. Oh, how sweet. Okay. <laughs> Gordon, what do you have to make of this? Fucking cheap ass crabs here. Don't have any sweet crab armor. Is that the idea? Gordon is full of fury and vengeance. All right, let's go on over here. Good, good, good. Fun little chicken. I almost <laughs> just equipped a laser and laser blasted it, but that's fine. All right, cool. I can't remember, was there ever any quests involved with this little like lumber mill area or was it just a cool place to chill out? I don't know. I kind of just enjoy them right out here, you know? Just some places that don't necessarily have to have anything super important going on, right? Because, you know, the popula the NPC populations aren't super duper, like, dense and stuff, so you don't ever run into problems like, oh, I'm just walking up to NPCs and they don't really have anything to say except for their basic greeting or whatever. They all seem to have something of some degree of value and flavor, right? Gotta, gotta give props to the old Elder Scrolls for that, huh? Oh, shit. Look at this dude. Ah! Shazbot. Ooh. There we are. Man, I don't even know how many fucking soul gems I've got at this point. <laughs> it seems like I'm just constantly filling shit up. Good God, look, there's something else up here as well. What is this? Another ice wraith? Look. Remember when I was afraid of them? Now guess what I've got. Oh shit. Oh God. All right. Let's lightning bolt them. Was that a hit? Ah! I really cannot tell. Did I hit? Did I hit the thing or did I hit Ilya? Oh, shit. There we go. Good. Look, I'm just capturing so many souls. All right. Let's continue on over here. I can't remember, is the horse and stable situation here an easy one to woot and loot? Oh, you know what? We need to go inside, don't we? Yes, make changes in the ledger. Oh shit, I almost forgot. All right, let's go on up over here. Good Lord, good thing I brought up the idea of my theft efficiency here. Okay, let's sneak on inside, good. There we go. Oh, shit. Shit. There we go. Good. Perfect. Love that. All right. Neat. And where is it? Here it is. <laughs> there we go. That's right. Yeah. What would we even forge in here? <laughs> Just that they had more horses than they would expect. I feel like that would be really hard to sneak past them, right? How does that even work? Like we're embezzling money somehow? By saying that, like, they sold less horses than they thought, or more horses than they thought? I don't even understand how we would do that. Like, you would think of all the occupations 
it would be pretty easy to keep track of the horses that you have in your care at a stable, right? <laughs> sure, in some places, maybe you do lose track of, of shit, right? Maybe you're like, oh yeah, sure, I had like 50 iron daggers coming in and out in the past month or week even. You know, with the war and everything, but Jesus, the horses? You can only fit like three or four horses in this stable, right? Good God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Good thing we bought some more picks from whoever the hell. Jesus. Alright. Alright. Where is the sweet spot? I like lost it. Oh god. Okay, it's over there for sure. I think maybe I went not low enough. Oh god. Fuck, I thought I was doing so good. Okay. Okay, let's go up a bit. Okay, let's go up a little bit more. Okay, let's go back down. Ow! <laughs> alright, alright. Okay. Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, what's inside? 258, I love it. A draft of strength. An iron ingot. Okay, anything else? good or of interest in here. Dresser filled with their clothing, right? How about this one? Boots. Yeah, nothing much, right? Okay. We could use this cooking spit. We kind of do need to. You know what? Let's do it. No one knows we're in here. Let's see. Oh shit, we've got a whole bunch of shit here, huh? Okay, I just need vegetable soup, right? There we go. Man, we were short on cabbages, as it turns out. Who would have ever thought we'd end up here? Okay, venison stew. Ooh, that one's also good. Look, it gives you one point of stamp per second. That's the good shit. Okay. And then, how about... Horker loaf or horker stew? Hmm. Well, I think the horker stew is superior. Right, because it weighs less. Is that Gordon, like, whistling? What is that? He sounds like that gopher from Winnie the Pooh. You know, gopher. <laughs> he always whistled, like, uh, whenever he spoke or something. There we are. Good. Should I just cook up this horker loaf? Why not? Okay. Look at that. We're ready to go. We got so much food now. Okay, cool. Oh shit, I'm getting sleepy. Well, I can't sleep there. You know what? Who needs it? We're barely tired at all. Okay. Let's do a quick save, and let's grab a horse, right? Let's see here. Maybe I can hide over this direction, and then... Let's see... Do a quick save, because I do need to come back here, right? Hmm... It's because of this fucking guy chopping wood right there. Let's see. Oh gosh, look at this horse. Can I just like lead a horse away? Hang on. Do I have that ability? Let's see, what's the illusion image here? Is there is there like command? Courage? Target won't flee? Fear? Muffle? No. Okay. I think there is command at some point though, right? Huh. Hmm. Do I have some way to move a horse? Okay, how about this? How about if I... If I do a sneakeroo, like this, and then... Can this dude see me? Shit, he can. How's this guy so good at his shit? Get the hell out of here, Ulandil. Maybe I can just sneak from right behind him. Can I use this? Will this block his line of sight? Am I hidden? <laughs> Alright. Fuck. Let's see. Come on. How heavy can a horse be? My encumbrance is enormous. Can I not just pick up a horse now at this point? Oh, look. I can kind of make this horse, like, move its butt. <gasps> look. Our time is now. Let's see. Is it the horse that's detecting me? 
Or is it the man? Like, he's obviously detecting the shit out of Ilya right now. <laughs> okay. Alright, he's, he's looking over here. He's pretty suspect. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for the horse, asshole! <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. There we go. We should also eat some food, right? Let's eat a horker loaf. It's heavy as shit. There we go. And let's head on back up over here. This place that we missed out on last time. Or, we didn't miss out on. We actually came here and obliterated them all. Oh, do you think that cool secret treasure chest up top in the ruin has respawned? Oh, I hope so. What a thrill. Here we go. Pass all of our old friends who managed to survive the dragon attacks of yore. Look at that. Thank goodness there's no dragon right now. Okay. Head on up here. And... Let's see. You know what? Maybe that Saturnalia thing does let you tame a moose, right? Good lord. Okay. Oh, shit. This is it, right? This is the place. Let's do a quick save just in case. Alright. Here we go! Whoop! Oh! Horse won't fit in! Horse won't fit in! I can't get off the horse here! Oh shit! Oh! Oh! Fuck! <laughs> Jeez! Alright. We're fine. Let's see. Let's equip our shit again. There we are. Whoops. Let's also get unrelenting force. Back at it. Alright. Is it safe to enter all this? Look, there's someone here named Erwin. And you thought I was just a pretty face. I haven't even seen your face. There we go. Good. Holy shit. Boom. All right. Let's also get some lightning bolt action. Oh, he's the chief. Come on! Come on! I can do this all day! Wah! There we are. Okay? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. Oh, shit. Was that a dragon? No, it's a frost troll. Okay. Whoop. Let's see, where have you gone? Oh, fuck. I think it just went right into my eyeball. Did you see where it landed? <laughs> His arrow? Good lord. Oh, it did! <laughs> I think it did. Hang on. <laughs> did it really go into my eye? Oh, it went into my... What? Come on. I guess because I changed the model or mesh. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, all right. Wait, is it back because... Oh, okay. Yeah, it must be because I changed, like, the, <laughs> the model on my head. Okay. Here, let's steal this fucking thing's soul. If it even has one. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it feels great to get those all the time now, huh? All right. There we go. I remember way back when I was... Oh, look. Wow, they actually have shit on them. Huh. I guess, yeah, given their name and all that. But yeah, I remember when I did my sneaky double dagger rogue build early on in this game. Way back nine years ago or so. Good lord. All the time, I would get the fucking animation for, like, doing backstabs and stuff. And I just kept doing it and doing it. And I eventually, I got sick of it. I got sick of the animation keep popping up because it it took a while and shit. I was like, yeah, okay, I get it. I'm backstabbing them. <laughs> All right. Let's give this a read. Irwin's journal. Or letter, letter from Edward. Which one should we read? Shit, you know what? Maybe this will be our reading for today. Okay. Irwin's journal. Retrieve the ring of Maser, or Masser. My new friend Gunther and I are getting along quite well. The other bandits are already getting jealous. He really was a fine gift. I should thank my brother Edward before I slit his throat. The thing I like best about my good friend Gunther, he can keep a secret. I tell him all sorts of juicy tidbits and he never says a thing. He reminds me of my old companion, Skjol. 
and the time we nearly got murdered by a Daedric cult. There was a ton of good loot in that place. Haunted artifacts, blood sacrifices, things that make lesser men want to hug their priest. Nothing that would frighten off Gunther, though. He's quite stoic, sitting on his chair. On top of that, he gets along with everyone. Was he dead? Is he like a dead man or something? Already, already dead? It doesn't matter if they're short people, fat people, tall people, or cat people. You know what? None of these people exist in Skyrim except for the last, right? There, <laughs> I guess there are. There is the like body slider, but it's not like um, it's not like Fallout Four, where you can actually make your character fat. You can only be uh, like skinny or buff, right? That, there, that's the only way. There's no like triangle or whatever. And certainly, you can't have, like, taller or shorter versions of whatever race you are, right? That's the thing about my old friend Gunther. He doesn't judge. Anyways, when I got to Skyrim, I sold most of the loot we piled up over the years, seeing as wanted men have to travel light. The heaviest piece I sold was a set of Daedric mail to a caravan Khajiit named Madron. Oh shit, this is for alternative armor, isn't it? I like that armor. But in the end, I had no choice but to get rid of her. She knows what she did. Besides, if I wanted to get her back, I could always trade something of equal value. Like the Ring of Macer, I ripped off the merchant at the Crescent Moon's Inn way back when. Me and the Furballs have a history. The ring is worth at least two sets of armor, or twenty pairs of boots. <laughs> What a weird thing to say! 20 pairs of boots. I guess you know what? In the wonderful world of the Elder Scrolls, sometimes you do come into contact with someone selling you 20 different pairs of boots, right? Some fucking adventurer just shows up one day like, Oh, check out all my fine wares. Nah, I want to sell you like 20 fucking pairs of boots today. Can you cover that for me? <laughs> It can fortify your illusion magic, just like the books say. The books get a lot right, even the parts about me, except I'm much prettier and taller in real life. Either way, I don't need to cast spells to run this new crew, so I'll let my best friend Gunther wear the ring. I think it looks really good on him. Okay. What were they, like lovers with Gunther? Alright. Erwin's Journal. Letter from Edward. Read. Oh yeah, yeah, Erwin was the one who said I'm not just a pretty face or whatever, right? Okay, my bad, I thought it was the, we, were, we got this off the bandit chief. My dearest sister Erwin, I see your way with words remains as elegant as a falling boulder. I am needed alive, and no, I haven't forgotten my promise to you, which I remind you again was never literal. You see, when someone says, You'll be the death of me. It's not an invitation to murder. It's more of a loving expression of one's exasperation. But I know nuance has never been your strong suit. I must warn you, however, that correspondence like this endangers us both. So if you truly wish to keep this promise, it's best you don't respond. When the time is right, I will come to you. Oh, and be kind to our merchant friend Gunther, will you? Consider him my gift to you, along with this book on our past life. I'm sure you know by now, but it seems one of us has taken to writing about our adventures. I assure you it isn't me. But I am glad his depiction of you is as honest as you are incorrigible. Incorrigible. Signed to Edward. Oh, how do I loot it? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Erwin! There you are, Erwin. Yeah, it was you, wasn't it? Okay. Neat. Let's see. Where was the chief, then? There's the chief. Okay. Do we want their... Well, no. Their... Look, their iron sword of scorching is really bad. Look, if anything, we should take the Nordic bow and the carved armor if we want to take anything off of them. And maybe even we shouldn't take the armor? Nah, we, we still got the carry weight. Oh, we're getting up there, though. <laughs> look at me, I'm doing it again. I can't stop. Oh, look. Hey, here's the dude. This is Gunther. Oh, shit. Was he always naked like this? Was this like her fuckboy? 
Why didn't he ever talk? I don't know. Oh, he must have been in here. Oh, we foosed him out of this. He was like stuck inside of this. He was pinned to it. Jesus Christ. All right. She was into some kinky shit. Let's see, Gunther. The Crimson Dirks. Yeah, there it is. And the Ring of Macer Masser. Illusion spells cost 30% less to cast. Increases your stamina by 20 points. Sneaking is 20% better. That's not half bad, honestly. Jeez. Unfortunately, we already have pretty fucking good ass rings, right? Optional, purchase the armor set with gold. Well, we'll do that. That way we can have more random bullshit in my inventory, right? <laughs> I don't want to give up this weird ass ring. Shit, that's the last thing I want to do. Let's see. Over here. Let's go check our fun prize area, though, right? Oh, look, a black soul gem. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? It's time to drop this heavy ass armor, right? Let's see. Oh, you know what? The carved armor actually has higher value to weight ratio than the elven armor, amazingly enough. Yeah, look, 43. Eh, but the carry weight. Dropping it. Oh shit, actually, you know what? We could have given it to Ilya. Eh, there it is, it's rolling. Got some salmon steak, mammoth steak, sack of flour, I'll eat it all. Beautiful. Okay. Anything over here? A barrel filled with juniper berries. Okay. Wow, restoration level. Wow, are we about to ding? Oh, very close. Dresser filled with some weird stuff. A banded outlaw over here with some ebony arrows. Wow. I like that. Treasure chest, some glass boots. Alright, give this a quick pick. There we are. And what have we got inside? Dwarven mail. Oh. Okay. An elven sword as well. Not that great. We'll leave it. Okay. And we need to go up top to the secret fun zone, right? Let's see. There was nothing in the knapsack. Poop bucket for Gunther. All right. Good. We don't... We probably don't need any more of that... Uh, oh, look. More ebony arrows. But we probably don't need to take any of that food stuff over there, right? It's a bit heavy. Okay. Let's see. Where's our secret access point again? This has become ingrained into my memory. Okay. Up here. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. Here we are. Cool. And then we go up this. Oh. Oh, God. I'm not sure if this is the way to do it. Oh god, I can't remember. There we are. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright, good. Okay, oh yeah, ultimate healing potion. Already worth it, just for that. Okay, master chest. Oh fuck. Ah, great. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, not on the right. Ooh. Let's go down a bit. Oh my god, I'm a master thief! A diamond contained within. A ring of minor lockpicking as well. Ugh. Okay, cool. You know, if we really wanted to go wild about this, we could just have some like lockpicking jewelry on us that we um, set a quick uh, setup thing to just pop on us, right? We could do that. Or some lightweight clothing as well. Oh, Elven Gilded Armor. Now that's the good shit, huh? Dance and Fire, we'll take that. We've read it, but the value on it is pretty good. Neat. All right. Hey, there it is, huh? Okay. Let's see. Let's take this over to Ilya, because we can give this to her. Oh. There we are. All right, Ilya. Check this I've got your back. dope stuff out. What do you want me to carry? Let's see here. All of this heavy shit. Actually, let's just sort by weight and give her the heaviest bullshit. There you go. All right. Gilded stuff, some boots. Why not? Cool. Anything else? Yeah, let's give her some more. Should we give her a helmet? No, I kind of like her hood situation right now. I'm into that. Okay. How about all these daggers, though? Yeah! 
Man, we just have so much carry weight, don't we? Good God. How amazing. All right. <laughs> look at your fucking really getup. You look like a maniac, Terralia. <laughs> It's not a look at all. We've had we've put some armor on our companions in the past and we've been like, you know what? That's kind of a look. This This is not. Looks like my fucking dude in Disco Elysium right now with the fucking yellow uh gardening gloves and shit. <laughs> Alright, let's do a quick save. Let's get on up over to Windhelm. Let's see, do we have any actual business that we need to take care of inside of Windhelm? Is that where this quest is directing us? Wow, where does it want us to go? Oh my god, all the way over to Solitude. Yo! Okay, fuck that. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. Yeah, let's get on back to Windhelm. And you know what? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe... Should we do some vendoring out here? No, we should go to Riften. Right? Let's go on down to Riften land. And let's accomplish some of that stuff. Because we got all the miscellaneous bullcrap done out here, right? Oh shit, there's wheat. We should grab some of this wheat. Right? Especially since no one is out here doing work. Oh shit, did they actually harvest it themselves? Oh god, were we too late for the daily harvest? Oh no, it's all gone! Wow, they actually do harvest it by the end of the day! Holy shit! I had no idea! Is that really what happened? Because remember when we were strolling through here, all the wheat was grown, right? Or am I like misremembering and conflating it with a different place that had wheat? Wow, they actually do that? Holy shit, I had no idea I went through that trouble of like... ...running the simulation that much, right? Shit. Man, and we were just commenting on how like some of these little extra touches... ...really add a little bit of extra oomph to the world, right? It's so unnecessary and adds so many extra potential layers of complication, right? I truly feel like they don't get enough credit for some of that, right? And yet, we'll come over here and we'll just see that it's definitely not the case and we just mixed them up. <laughs> this place will just have like a million things of wheat. No! Wow! It really does work that way! Oh! Wow, Ilya, I'm flabbergasted. All right. Let's go on up over here. Should we go into the town itself? Or, let's see, we could... Hmm. Meet Carlia at the Ragged Flagon. Speak to... Sending. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I think we just go on over to... Yeah, let's just fucking ride out over to... What do you call it, land? To Riften. Let's, see, let's do a quick save ahead of time in case the carriage the ride, like, Where kills me. To go? Let's see, I'd love to go to Riften. Climbing back and we'll be off. Dope. Okay. I can't wait here forever. Don't worry, I'm I'm getting in here, man. There we are. Beautiful. Oh, you know what? I also figured out. Remember, sometimes we'll have stamina regen issues. I figured out the problem. Somehow the game, um, I think it it like, it's a problem to do with, uh, the. Well, I guess, obviously, the, the new encumbrance penalties, thanks to the survival mode. But, I noticed that if ever I want to fix it, I just need to get completely naked and then re-equip my clothes, and for whatever reason, that totally does it. Right? Good to know, right? I forgot how I... how what even made me think... Oh, it was when I was doing crafting and getting my current set of equipment and all that shit, right? Okay, you know what? Before we forget... Let's bring this shit over to Medesi, right? We have all of Medesi's stuff, right? Sorry, I'm afraid I... Let's see. It's Medesi, isn't it? Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Flawless sapphires. Fuck, we don't have those, do we? Or did I put them on now. Ilya so, for safekeeping? Here, Ilya, do you have the sapphires? I've got your back. Let's see. Let's what trade. Do you want me to carry? Oh, shit. I must have turned them into, like, a fucking bullshit item. <laughs> Let's get going. Oh man, oh, we're, we're never gonna find it. Time. Can I just buy some from it. someone? Let's see. Who's the seller, dude? You gonna buy something? Training in light armor. I'll teach armor. you how Can to use it effectively that? and keep you quick on your oh, feet. No. Right, we got the training earlier. Okay, Medesi. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest Oh, I can turn it in piecemeal. 
Okay, I have a mammoth tusk for you. The ivory from this tusk will be perfect for the inlay on my amulets. Great. I have a chunk of gold ore for you. Perfect. Melting this down will give me plenty of gold for those necklaces I started. Great. Okay, and what have you got for Everything sale? Everything I've got on display, really. Do you think this guy just has two flawless amulets? Or flawless sapphires? No. Okay. Safe travel. Oh, and Balaman. Balaman, I've got your shit too. Finally. Good lord. This whole time. Like, 90 fucking videos. Almost 90 hours of actual, like, real-ass gameplay. Not, uh, excluding crafting and all that shit, of course, but... Holy shit! We've only found Jewelry ten fire salts. What the fuck? Come to right. see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Yeah, but I found the fire salts for your forge. I'm ready to see some real work done. Amazing. These must have been very hard to come by. Yeah, you're telling You've me. You saved my business and warmed an old smith's heart. For that, I thank you. Oh. Well, don't put them on your heart. That might kill you. Gave me 1.5k. Really not worth it. The finest weapons and armor. Does he get like different inventory or something? Yo, I don't think he does, right? All right. Well, fair enough. Return anytime. You're <laughs> I suppose when here. next we come back, we'll do a little bit of uh, vendoring out here in the marketplace. We'll sell off some of the weird shit that we've got on Ilya and myself. Do some enchanting up in there. Maybe increase the value of our stuff. No, we don't need to, right? We don't need to up our enchanting at the moment. We're maxed out. Yeah, maybe we won't do that then. Maybe we'll just hold on to it for the sake of uh, powering up our enchanters or whatever in the future. I have no idea. Because, you know what? I think we've got enough loot loot on us to get a shitload of money, right? All right. Well, nonetheless, like I said, when next we come back, we'll have done a little bit of inventory management. We'll be able to head on down and meet with the Thieves Guild, huh? Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>